morning everyone and what a morning it is. So, the cows are just on the new grass that I planted back in March. It's growing really well and it's almost a little bit too long, but it's better than what was here before, that's for sure. So I can get probably three days out of this break. It's a little bit of a pain this paddock because the trough is just over there. It would be more ideal down on the bottom there, which I want to do. We'll put another one down there anyway because instead of just fencing straight across, I've got to come up this fence line with like a little lay, race and then they can have this top bit. But it's looking real good, you can see the drill rows there and it's growing really well actually, you can point out the drill rows through there but I did graze that other one that I did over there off and they did leave quite a little bit behind which isn't too bad. I should get three days in here and then into the other one over there. But Dad's just shifting the carving cows which are over there so we'll go and catch up with him because there's not too many left in that mob. This is what I mean, see how I had the fence down this fence line, I probably made it a little bit too wide. See they're just cutting straight across fence to fence. He's drafted one cow out so maybe there's only one today. What number are you girl, one, four something. No, there's two calves and they're both bulls. No, he's drafted both of them out. Well, there's not too many cows left in this mob. This is the AI mob, so there's only, I think I counted 25 yesterday, so that must mean there's only 23 with those two that have been taken out or have calved. Here's my favourite cow here though, number 52. She's due to calve very soon, so hopefully she's a heifer calf, because I really want a replacement from her. But you know how it goes, it'll probably be a bull. I also think there's a couple of empties in here too, but I'll just have a quick count up. Again, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Oh, so there's only, if there's two empties, there's only 18 in here left to carve. Because once these are finished, then we've only got one mob, which is over there. But hopefully these girls will just finish off this paddock here. Just got a few more breaks over that side and a few here. That's one of them there, 174. And that one actually, 79. She slipped and she must have slipped at some point too. And I think this girl here, I think she's carving. Come out and draft her out later on. But big yellow's out today, which is awesome because when it does come out, it is so nice and warm. It's definitely started slowing down on the carving front. So I only had three cows yesterday, and I thought today was going to be about the same, but I've had four cows carve in the late mob, which is good, because it means the other mob will be getting smaller, which is what we want. But I think that brings milking cow numbers up to about mid to 20s as of today, or as of these cows that are carved, which means that I might be into double digits now of cows left to carve. So things will be starting to slow down, a big day now might be sort of around that 6 mark, whereas before it was around that sort of 12 to 14. And I've got about another 6 weeks left of carving, and there's only 100 cows, or like I said before, maybe less than 100 cows to go, so things will be slowing down big time. Out of the 6 though, that one is a heifer. That's what we like to see. Had a pallet of lime flour turn up today. Bucks driving. That's who Dad bought the extra land from. Now I've come up to get this trailer because I'm going to juggle a few carbs around. Hopefully this gate will just open. Oh yeah, that's all right. They're not going to get through there. Sweet.
So this is going to be their new home. I am running out of room in the other shed, so I've brought them up here. And they can just run around in the yard here till they're sort of big enough. And then I'll put them out in this calf paddock, which is next to the shed here. These are the newest calves that have come in. That one's real new. She was yesterday. There's five in there. That gives me 75 replacements. So that's all I need, really. What came in this year was 72, and that's about bang on. So if I do get a few more, and there's potential to, because there's still another, how many did I say this morning? 18 cows over there that could carve. So if I've got another six replacements, I'll probably rear them. I've got tags up to 85 and then it just gives me options later on so I could sell some potentially maybe six or eight I don't know, we'll see what happens um, and how many I actually get Loving the new environment but there's nine calves in here so what I could do is put another four potentially because there is 13 teats on that feeder and that's the one I'm going to be using to feed them and then when they're all big enough and the ones over there are big enough, I will let them outside probably, plus bring some more up. That means that in the shed down here, I've just got a pen of 12 here, which are doing really well. And then there's some newish ones here, so there's 8 in this mob. So give it about another week and some fine weather. I reckon they can go outside too. But these ones will have to go up the top there because I can't fit any more in the paddock out there. <laughs> Just about to go and put the cows on the feed pad, but I thought I'd just come over and have a little look before. Oh, there might be three. There's one calf down there. I think this cow's calving. There's one on the ground. 297. Oh, nice. She's a, she's a bit of a pet cow, that one. And that 161, that's the one I thought was calving this morning. No, you're having your calf. That's not yours. Oh, and 52, here's my favourite, so look at her udder, her udder's got a lot bigger since this morning I reckon, I reckon she'd be very close, see her tail sticking out a little bit too just in there, I'd say she's getting ready, carve overnight. Well, that's a bull, you right mate? There we go. Better. This is a prime example of what can happen though, so she's just carved and this cow's going to steal that calf so it's just just as easy as that to get them mixed up but that's four bull calves out of here today. So we'll draft those two cows out, I'm going to draft 297 who's carving out, she can go back and I'm also going to draft 52 out because I think she's going to carve overnight. So I want to I make sure I definitely know what calf hers is so she can stay around the shed up there. Because, because she's my favourite. Special privileges. The motorbike's just gone to town for a service and it's quite clean because they wash it in there. But we also got these lights put on. I don't know if I've told you guys. So it doesn't come with a light switch on these. So we got these put on after market uh, at its last service. So we've had them for a couple of months. So you can turn the lights on and off. Good idea. What do I think of this bike? Somebody asked me and yeah, I quite like it. It is higher in the seat than the last one. Uh, those old CTXs are a little bit lower, but, and one other thing is, I don't like these seats either. I wish they were sort of canvas seats, because I've already put a reel through there, made a bit of a rip on it. Um, I suppose you could get canvas seats, but they're alright, they're, they're a good farm bike, I think. But the milking cows are just there, or my herd's just there, and this is that other new grass paddock. So they've grazed it off pretty well, but I just think they've just left a little bit too much up the top here, so... That's why I was just trying to push them a little bit today to sort of get a bit of grazing up there. I still don't think that's bad, like it's going to grow back real nice, but I'm just hoping they'd take the, the tops off just a little bit more than they have. 
Here they come. It's also another thing about fencing from the top up. They run down the hill, which isn't that great. Far out though, what a day. Check that out. It's like it's spring already, but oh, it's so nice and warm. The grass will be growing. It's awesome. Just having a little look to see how much they've left behind, and much like that other paddock, I think it's probably a little bit long and rank up the top here. But they have done a pretty good job, I think. And certainly on the hillside there, where it wasn't quite so bad, they've chewed it down quite nicely. And you can see the drill rows. Well, we drafted 297 out, took her back, put her in the paddock, and within about a quarter of an hour of her walking through that gate, she carved, and she had a big bull calf. So, pretty unreal that the five cows we pulled out of that mob today all had bulls. So hopefully it means that 52 is going to have a heifer. Laura averages. Surely it's got to swing back the other way at some point. I really hope she does too. But I just went and checked on her then and it doesn't look like she's in the process at the moment. But I think she's very, very close. So I'll give her the night and see if she hasn't carved by the morning. Which if she hasn't then I'll probably draft her out and take her back to the, to the paddock. Closer to the cow shed. But I'll see you in the morning. Just another beautiful day. It is a bit chilly though, and today definitely feels more like winter. Dad's beating me here, and he's already drafted one out, but I don't think that's 52. She had a bull too. He said there's one carving out here, and that looks like 52, I reckon. It sure is. You can see the back legs there. So we'll take her back, she can carve in the paddock. Oh, exciting. Surely we can't get six bulls from six cows in two days. Oh, I really hope not. Fingers crossed it's going to be a heifer. Had another heifer calf this morning too. So that one, that one, and then there's that 297 back in the paddock. It'll be three, and then 52 is four. So a bit of a slow day. There we go. Now you can go and find a spot to carve. Grabbing 297 on the way past and she's following me so that makes it nice and easy. Come on, push up. A little bit gutted she had a bull. She was in calf to a sire called Explore, which was a British bull I think it is. So would have been interesting to see how that goes, but oh well. That heifer's cow number is Cow number 80, or tag number 80. So I need to tag her this morning. And these are the heifers that are left to calf. So I've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, and say three are empty, so 10 to go. Always pays just to check that it's actually gonna go in the hole too. She hasn't carved yet, but I think she just needs a little bit more time. So I'll probably give her a half an hour, an hour, and come and check on her. I think she'll carve by herself, easy, no trouble. Feet are coming out uh, head first, which is ideal. Well, I think they are, I'm pretty sure they are. She just needs a little bit of time. That wind is really fresh today, but I've just had breakfast, and I just came to check on this girl here and she was still trying so what i've done hey no you need to go the other way so what i've done is brought her up to the cow shed here because i'm gonna give her a helping hand i think she could probably do it by herself but just to be just just to be sure i am just gonna have a feel and see if the head's not bent around or anything like that So I got a bit of clay mortar, a bit of lube, and also some carving chains there. Give it a bit of a wash, keep things nice and clean. Head's right there, so that's good, and it's moving around, that's awesome. Now, now sort of push there. Yeah, pull the...
Well, that's a bit of a bummer. It's a bull calf, not a replacement like I was hoping, but how about that? Six from six bulls, so I guess all these cows, or she was definitely over her due date, and I think you're more likely to get a bull if they do go over. But it's good to see that mum and calf are doing fine. It wasn't too hard. Everything was poking in the right direction, so that made it pretty easy. But uh, yeah, what to do, because I really want to get some progeny from her, so... I did try sex same in this last mating, she didn't hold to it, so I'm thinking this season I'm going to, if she comes on heat, I'm going to just whack some sex stuff in there, even if it's before our plan start a mating, or, or um, I think we start on about the 10th, so any time before the 10th I'm just going to chuck some in there and hope it holds, because... Yeah, I really want to get a heifer calf from her. I could always go down the route of embryo transfer though. So that's when they would flush her, get the eggs out of her, fertilise them and then put them in donor cows or other cows. It is a bit of a costly process and you don't know how many eggs you're going to get. And also the conception rate for those eggs holding is about 50%. So it is a bit of a hard route to go down, but uh, it's always there if I wanted to, I guess. But I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. That'll pretty much do it for today. And other than that, see you next time.